Hi, this is Heather, also known as Heath Witch, and I'm back with a Witch Casket unboxing video. This is the Witch Casket for January 2020. We have reached 2020, so Happy New Year to all my viewers. And if you're new here, welcome. Witch Casket is a UK-based uh, monthly subscription company that sends out a box for witches, pagans, anyone who practices magic, anyone who's learning magic. Um, they uh, ship internationally. Their boxes are filled with useful and unique products and my videos unboxing them are not um, backed by Witch Casket. This is entirely off my own um, inclination and desire to share these boxes with you. I am a practicing witch. I have been practicing for uh, a long time now and um, these boxes always fill me with delight and also give me really useful items that I can use in my own practice. Um, the contents tend to be um, a variety of items. They are vegan friendly and a lot of the um, packaging is recyclable or compostable. So let's have a look at the January 2020 box. I've not opened this before. I've only unwrapped it from its, it comes in a, in a plain outer bag so you can't see what's inside it. I've removed that and now I'm gonna take a look inside. It already smells amazing. It's a shame that we do not have smelly vision though there again, perhaps in some cases that's a good thing. So the welcome letter says, hello our wonderful casket crew, here we are already in 2020. January's casket is all about abundance and we could surely know some of that with this decade. Yes, we can. So the welcome letter always um, gives you the theme of the box, which you never know until you open it. Everything is usually colour coordinated. So we've got this lovely um, green and gold theme here, entirely appropriate for abundance. And on the back, there's the list of contents. Now, I don't tend to read these until after I've unboxed the... Um, the box um the contents um so i will come back to this later on so let's have a look what we've got so the artwork tea cake art produces the artwork and it is always stunning this is loris nobilis this is a bay tree um we have a pomegranate we have a crescent moon and a feather all signs of um abundance um absolutely beautiful artwork some of which is fantastic for um, just displaying others you might want to use as like a focal point for meditation or spell work um, or indeed any of the above all of the above um, I like the 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 artwork very much some people have said to me that they sometimes use their cards as postcards they write a message a quick message on the back and a, uh, address on this side and put a stamp on it um and that is also another use or as a note card in with gifts and things so you know lots of use here this um i really really like this one it's really pretty uh one day i will have bay trees outside my front door haven't got there yet so we have the witch casket um sticker um, sometimes these are coloured, sometimes they're just black and grey or black and white. Um, proclaim your love for Witch Casket wherever you go by slapping this sticker on whatever you like. And of course, you can also use this as um, a spell item. So, you know, you could, in, you, you could in, empower this for a specific purpose and then stick it on something. So, for example, with this being an abundance casket, um, you could stick this on the front of a money box or uh, a ledger book or your savings account um, um, uh, paperwork folder or anything like that. Um, or even like the, the order book for your business, you could slap that on the front after charging it and then continually re-enchanting the energy, re-empowering the energy whenever you saw it or touched it or used it. So nice addition. And you get a sticker in every box. So you can do that with any intention. It doesn't have to be the box's intention. Okay. So we now have 
a map and I'm not sure what this is for at the moment. I don't know whether this is just decorative or whether it's for um, pendulum dowsing, uh, Sea of Wonder, Starlight Cove, Lenham Ranch, Tantertown Tally. This could be somewhere that is in a book series that I just don't recognise. At first I wondered if it was um, Lord of the Rings and then realised that it has nothing to do with Lord of the Rings. But, you know, I instantly see a map drawn in this style, in this colourway, and I and I think of Middle Earth. Um, it could be anywhere. I read a lot of fantasy books. None of this is, is hitting me, so it could just be unique to uh, which casket and have a purpose that I don't know about yet. Um, so it's about A5-sized. Um, it's fabric. It'd be interesting to see what the content sheet says about this, unless further into the box, its use becomes apparent. So let's just see how we get on. Abundance Charm Bag Kit, a magical herb kit to help bring abundance your way. I love the charm bag kits in Witch Casket. I always say this, I find them really, really quick and easy for people who are just starting out in the craft or maybe do not have the right ingredients to hand. Um, or maybe, you know, you've run out of a particular ingredient or, you know, if you are um, chronically ill or having a bad day and can't focus and you need something pre-collated um, for you then to just instantly put together and use rather than having to think too hard about it. Because, you know, if you're fighting chronic illness, then I know quite a bit about this, um, then there are days when the brain fog just will not let you. Um, put together in your head what you need despite the fact that you might be quite experienced um, you know so these sorts of kits are always useful in those instances equally if you are more experienced you can use these kits as a springboard for your own imagination and for your own working so you could put your own twists on them add extra ingredients remove things or if you have no use um, for the Abundance Charm Kit, as it stands, you could take all the ingredients and distribute them amongst your actual requirements. So we've got a nice fabric green, green fabric bag here, decent sized. We have some cloves, whole cloves. And these are in a um, biodegradable bag. That's a goodly percentage of whole clothes and you can smell them. Jeez Louise. Okay, so you've, we've also got uh, a green herb. When it's this small, it's really hard to tell what it is. It's going to be something really obvious, isn't it? Let's have a look. Mint. Should have known. I can smell it a mile away. It's mint. See, sometimes... I don't always get it 100% right. I never get it 100% right. I'm not a robot. Uh, so blend your mint and cloves while you focus your intent that these magical herbs will bring abundance your way. There's a nice little um, incantation for while you stir and blend your herbs together. You could then pop them in the bag and you carry that with you. Equally, you could put it on top of your checkbooks, your bank statements, um, your savings box, anything like that. So yeah, this is a nice little easy kit to use. Gives you a good focus. Oh, look, I like this pentacle with all the green foliage in it. This is quite pretty. This would do as a nice focal piece as well for meditation or spell work, or even if you were just repeating a chant over and over and over again. You could you could do an, an invoking pentacle here or uh, whatever strikes your fancy, really. So, and the thing I like about um, when Witch Casket do include herbs um, and crystals is you don't, so far, I haven't had anything that I can remember anyway that doubles up. So you're getting a nice, small... Um, quantity of herbs or crystals that you can build your ingredients your your witch's apothecary 
with. So you can build your own little spell cupboard with your mint, your cloves. Um, the previous box had mugwort in it. It had um, yarrow. We had another box. Um, my brain has just gone blank. It was on my mind a minute ago. Uh, with um, lemon balm in, you know, so, you know, you can build up a nice little pantry there for magical workings. You don't have to use 100% of the herb in your spell. It's nice to make a note of the ratios that you do use, whether they are 50-50 um, or whether they are 75-25 or anything else that you want to use. Um, just purely for your own uh, witchy information, if you were to repeat that. Um, but yeah, you're building up a nice magical pantry. And if you already have a magical pantry, then you're getting nice little updates to keep your pantry ticking over and nice and fresh. So that's that's lovely. The only thing that I would do is I would label these personally. Um, I do make a habit of labeling my bags so that if it gets separated, I know what things are. I also tend to date them because um, nothing lasts forever. So here is our tea of the month. Mindful Morgana, Moranga, sorry. Mindful Moranga loose leaf tea. Excellent mandarin orange notes you will never forget. Superb, hot or cold. Ooh, now that sounds nice. Right, so that will be a nice one to try at some point soon. Again, we've got the consistency with the artwork, the labels and everything really nicely done. Um, I do tend to enjoy the teas very much. Um, they, they give a nice um, change to my typical daily brews. So um, yeah, looking forward to that one. The pin of the month is a very shiny pin that says casket crew on it with a pentacle. Fab. Very tempted to wear this everywhere right now. I do like my enamel pins. I have a bit of a fetish for those. Nice pentacle on the back. So once you've taken the pin off, again, you could use this for invoking, banishing, anything you want, focal point, whatever. There is some foliage here, which ties in with the overall theme, green and gold. Um, excellent colours for abundance and money spells. And not everything is money, of course, you know, not, not all abundance is money. So you've got the green that can also indicate uh, material abundance, fertile abundance, um, you know, the, the bounty of the land, food, drinks, You've got the gold, which can also indicate creativity and intellectual abundance. So it's not all about money. Um, you know, a lot of people um, think abundance spells automatically equal money spells. They don't. You know, th this could quite easily uh, be colours that um, indicate uh, abundance of family and friends, which is the best type of abundance, really, is love and connection so here we go tumble stone of the month for this month aventurine or is it it doesn't feel soapy enough to be jade i'd want to call it aventurine let's have a look green quartz okay don't I haven't yeah, green quartz I am not really that familiar with. It is quite matte, actually. So, yeah. Green quartz. Stimulates creativity and increases intuition. Attracts abundance, good fortune and success. And also has the ability to take negative energy and transform it into the positive. Cool. It's a nice size piece of, to piece of uh, uh, tumble. It's got some nice little, despite being quite matte, it has got a couple of shimmery parts to it. Lovely. I 
I'm pretty sure that aventurine and green quartz are two separate things as well. So, but not coming, not knowing green quartz that much, don't know. And here we have a, ch a chip bracelet, crystal chip bracelet, which I don't know. There's no um, label with it, so I don't know if this is aventurine, green quartz, or something else. Stretchy. Fits well on the hand. Nice cooling energy, actually. Very cooling. So would also be good for calming things down. Good fostering of connection to the earth as well. So, yeah. That's pretty useful and precise. What else have we got in here? In a gold bag this time, we have a witch casket coin. So this says, I don't know if you can tell, but it says Witch Casket, Casket Crew on it. And some words on the back, which I can't read via the camera lens. This is an abundance talisman that attracts magical abundance and good fortune to the bearer. So you could use this as a talisman, you can carry it with you. You could put it in your abundance spell pouch. You could keep it with your checkbook, keep it in your purse, um, anywhere where you're wanting abundance to flow. If you're doing any kind of creativity, you could keep it with your notes, um, keep it on top of your piano, keep it with your knitting project, keep it with your manuscript that you're editing, whatever, it, how, however it is that you are uh, wanting to be creatively abundant. Um, you could use this as a talisman for uh, fertility work or, you know, keep it in your kitchen even. And just whenever you're cooking for family, let the, uh, let the abundance flow through to the food and the drink and, the, and just be grateful. Uh, because not everyone has it as well off as uh, the rest of us. Having a witch casket is a real privilege. Um, but also, um, you know, there are a lot, a lot of people in the world who are worse off than we are. So you could even direct um, your magical intentions for abundance to people who are worse off. Um, because, you know, we do take a lot of things for granted. The ability to have food on our table, to have warm beds and roofs over our head. And to be able to afford something like Witch Casket, to be able to practice openly or practice, even practice secretly. You know, a lot of people don't have any of those options, any of those abilities. They don't have um, a roof over their heads. They don't have warm clothes. They don't have, they don't know where their next meal is coming from. Some of them are displaced due to war and suffering um, or natural disaster, you know, so... You know, abundance isn't always for the self, is I think what I'm getting at. Abundance isn't always money and it's not always for the self. It is for others as well. And really, you know, I'm 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 a witch who likes to practice and put things back into the community. So healing spells, abundance spells, anything that will help the community or help the world at large, I will engage in that sort of spell craft. Um so that I am putting back out into the world um, some energy towards making it a better place. So there's always that to bear in mind. Now, if I take this out of camera shot, hang on, wait a minute, I might be able to do it. It says, may the bearer of this coin, I can't read it. I can't even read it when I'm close up. My eyesight is obviously not good enough. May the bearer of this coin find prosperity and triumph tantamount to the love and generosity in their heart. That's what it says. Now that I've managed to get the light right on it for me to read. Hang on. There you go. That's probably the best I can do for the viewers. For you watching this. And it just really sums up what I've been just been saying about putting it out into the world. Um, because, you know, there's not that there's anything, in, in, you know, initially wrong, but a lot of people 
find magic and find witchcraft as a way to actually bring things into their lives, especially things like confidence and things like self-esteem and things like reclaiming personal power. And that is all well and good. But send it back out into the world. Don't just attract or banish or heal or whatever. Don't just work the magic that is a th that is immediately in your circle of influence send it further out into the world as well yeah so your your obvious one here is doing healing spells um for people further afield who you may know or for crisis situations like you know at the moment we've had the um, australian bushfires we have war going on we have all kinds of political shenanigans going on all over the globe so sending healing and good thoughts to all of that. And I can get into the um, the ethics and morals and politics of healing uh, magic in another video if people want me to. I am hoping this year to actually get in front of the camera and start talking about some of the craft as I see it and as, as I practice it. It won't all be witch casket unboxings and tarot and oracle unboxings. Um, it's just... Um, I've got a lot of these to catch up on, particularly in terms of tarot and oracle, the, the witch casket ones I do as and when they come in. Um, and the tarot and oracle ones, if a deck arrives, then I tend to put it to one side until I've got the time and space and quietness to be able to record a video to unbox it um, so that you and I get to greet the deck together and get to know it a bit together. Um, but... I'm always open to questions. Feel free to comment in the in the in the um, section below if you've got any questions or commentary for me. Um, equally, I am relatively new to YouTube. It has been something that has um, just kind of manifested naturally for me over the last few months. So I'm working in cramped conditions today. I don't really like it, so I I already know that's something to fix. So if anyone has other uh, recommendations for me, please feel free to drop that in the comments below as well. Okay, so moving on to the rest of the box because we've got a little bit off piss there. Um, let's scroll. So we have patchouli forest incense. Now, patchouli is one of my favoritest, favoritest, favoritest smells ever. So patchouli candles, patchouli incense, patchouli loose and burning. Oh gosh, patchouli oil, fantastic. Um, 15 grams. This is not going to last long in this household. This will go very quickly. I will burn this virtually instantly. I should really like kind of eke it out a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm, I love burning incense. I, I burn incense nearly all the time. So of various, various, uh, manufacturers, not just from witch casket boxes, uh, but, um, from, wherever smells you know whichever incense grabs my attention smells interesting etc so yeah looking forward to this there's a scroll in every month's witch casket which is a an addition to your book of shadows um got a green sticker on this one now the problem here is i have no nails as you've probably noticed and if you haven't there we go um so let's just use a pair of fine scissors here to just snip into this scroll to get it open. I love the effect. I think it's really, really clever. It's just I don't have any nails. So either, whoops, I think I've gone through it. Never mind. Either I have to figure out a better way of snipping these open on video or... I need to stop biting my nails, which is hard to, for me to do because I've not managed to achieve that yet in all my 40 years. So I have gone through it. Never mind. This is another nice addition to your uh, Book of Shadows. I'm great. I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite happy that they have gone back to black text on, on um, uh, parchment. The last few boxes, the last couple of months, have been printed a big black background and then white text or coloured text. And I haven't liked it as much. I prefer this and it's also less wasteful. 
and less expensive. I like the um, continued um, foliage. And this is Magical Ways to Attract Abundance. And as always, the most effective way to attract anything in magic is to expect it, to show gratitude for it, to know it's already yours and it will be with you soon. Mm. Yes, in a lot of ways. Yes, not always, but in a lot of ways. Um, gratitude is always, 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 always important. For me, a lot of my practice is gratitude. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Anne Lamott, a very fine writer, um, spiritual writer, uh, wrote about the three most powerful spells, which uh, or prayers, the three most powerful prayers. I would call them spells. She calls them prayers. They are help, thanks, and wow. Um, I use them as prayers as well. Um, wow and thanks are my two main ones. Help is is one that I also use, obviously. Um, but my main one is is thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, for everything and you know I do get specific when I'm when I'm giving my thanks when I'm expressing my gratitude I am specific you know so um, thank you for this water I'm drinking um, thank you for clean hydration systems thank you for powered hydrations water at the turn of a tap you know that sort of thing all the way through up until you know thank you for my husband Thank you for the act of breathing, for getting through the day. Thank you for the financial abundance, which means I can afford to buy witch casket. Blah, 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 etc. Okay. Um, more words about abundance. Useful candle colours. Green, white, green aventurine, jade, green quartz, citrine. So the other two stones that I mentioned earlier, both appropriate for abundance. I was right. Herbs, lemon glass, cloves. Ginger, mint and cinnamon. Best performed during the waxing moon and full moon. What I like about this is that they're short and sweet and concise. And very, very clear about places you can start with in terms of your magical workings in this arena or for this intention. So you've already got there some crystals and some herbs that will um, augment your magical intention. You've got your moon phases and some general ethics and morals about that. So, so yeah. Next. <sighs> oh, how cute. Um, a magical coin purse. So this has got that same foliage green pentacle on the front. And it's just a very sweet, slightly larger than credit card size, I would say, uh, coin purse. You can probably just fit about your credit cards in there if you wanted to or, you know, some coins. Equally, if you were uh, traveling and you wanted to slip some crystals and things in there, maybe even a small tarot card or um, magical intention, you could use this for a spell kit on the go or even an altar on the go if you just put some small bits and pieces inside it that would represent altar items to you. So lots of purposes here, definitely. That's quite cute. I like that. My brain is spinning about where, what I could use it for and <laughs> how much fun can I have with this. So, nice addition. Okay, and then I think the last thing in the box, yeah, the last thing in the box is Witch Casket Pestle and Mortar. Let's have a look. Hopefully, it will have reached me in one piece. These, by the way, are cornstarch, so they can go in your composting. And obviously all the cardboard and stuff is recycling, uh, which is a nice touch, you know. Here we go. Pestle and mortar. Let's pop that out of the way. Oh, it's got a rubber non-slip base to it. Yeah, it's just ever so slightly bigger, around about the same size as the palm of my hand, actually. If not slightly, slightly smaller, actually, not slightly bigger. It only just fits in the palm of my hand. Um, and it's a nice size. It's got a nice feel to it. The uh, It's coarse on the inside. 
which is what you'd expect. So this you can use to like mix your um, herbs together for your spell kits, like the one you've got we've got in today's box, or for doing any kind of real magical, any other type of herbal work that you might want to um, either blend stuff together or crush things. So like your cloves, you might want to crush them, or things like peppercorns, coriander seeds, um, anything like that that you want to blend. Juniper berries, oh, gosh, the smell of juniper berries when you when you actually uh, blend them in a pestle and mortar and really squish them. Oh my word, the smell is divine. Um, so um, this is a useful, very useful, multi-purpose tool perfect for any kind of spell work that you want to be doing if it's herb work or anything like that even if it's just gently blending things either with your finger or your or your your, your pestle and your mortar or um you know you could use it for if you're burning anything and you need to get rid of the um you know like you've got something written on a bay leaf or on a, a scrap of paper you've set it on fire you can pop it in here and let it burn out throw the ashes away, cleanse it afterwards, reuse it again for some other purpose. Um, you know, if you, a um, little bit of water, a little bit of salt, mix it together, you've got salted, little bit of um, energy work there and blessed water. You can then use it to just, it's a nice size to just flick your water as you go about your room or to flick on um, uh, spell tools or whatever multiple uses for this nice nice um size i bought a small pestle and mortar from a uh an occult shop uh, a couple of months back round about this size and it cost me 12 pounds so the fact that this is coming in a witch casket box um which these retail at 27 UK pounds, and that includes the postage in the UK. They're a little bit more expensive for if you are mailing abroad. Um, but I do believe the amount of things you get in your witch casket is worth it. Um, plus, you know, you get the surprise, you get the mystery, you get um, stuff that, you know, you might not normally get. You know, I, I probably would never have picked up green quartz, for example, uh, despite the fact that, you know, I, I have used a lot of green stones in the past, not necessarily quartz, but I've used moss agate and tree agate um, and uh, green aventurine and, and green jade and things like that. But I probably would never have picked up green quartz. And there's been a couple of other uh, tumble stones in previous boxes that I've also not really picked up. Um, so, you know, wouldn't have picked up otherwise. Um, and, you know, the, the amount of information and, and tools and ideas and, you know, just I, I think it's fantastic value for money. So that's just me. Um, this is the last item in the January 2020 box. So let's go back to the content sheet and see what it says. I will just put this to one side. There we go. And the list of contents says, which casket exclusive, abundance coin purse, abundance talisman, A5 canvas poster. So that must be this map of, uh, yeah, which casket HQ, Heartstone Island, Starlight Cove. I can't read everything on here. Destiny Lake, Mugwort Village, TK Tower. So yeah, it's just, it's decorative. That's all it is. It's decorative. I don't know if I would use it. I don't know if I would. Yeah, I don't know if I would use it or if I, it might be nice for um, Instagramming or something or um, having some kind of witchy aesthetic. Don't know what I would use that for in actual fact, but still, let's move on. Um, A5 canvas poster, abundance charm bag kit, casket crew enamel pin, um, magical ways to attract abundance scroll, uh, pestle and mortar, green aventurine crystal bracelet. So the bracelet, the crystal bracelet is green aventurine. Um, 
this one. So that is green aventurine. So that's quite nice to have. Nice stretchy bracelet. Wear your magic everywhere. Um, green tots, green, bleh, green quartz tumbled stone. That's what I was trying to saying, trying to say. Mindful loose leaf tea. I'm getting tired, so please excuse the the slight um, slip ups. Uh, patchouli forest incense and an art print by Tea Cake. Um, fantastic. All spells and rituals are created by pra practicing witch exclusively for witch casket. So another fantastic box. I look forward to seeing what February's is going to uh, bring. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching my video. If you like it, please subscribe, share, uh, give me a thumbs up or a like. Uh, feel free to comment um, in the in the section down below. If there's anything in particular that you would like me to talk about in relation to um, witchcraft or um, paganism in general, please feel free to give me a shout and, and make a comment or suggestion. Uh, hopefully next time it will not be in such cramped quarters. I've actually had to move uh, my videos several times over the past few months uh, to a more cramped location due to other things going on in the family. Um, which is, you know, that's fine. Um, but hopefully I will have a, um, a better setup next time. Um, I have got tarot and oracle videos coming. Um, and as I said, you know, at some point uh, this year, I hope to be in front of the camera myself where I can talk to you about uh, my own practice as a witch and what I understand witchcraft to be. Um, coming at it from 30 odd years on the craft path. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. Uh, I hope 2020 brings all the best things for you and many blessings to you all. Thanks. Bye.